Hi, folks. Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Well, coming here with a blog post, of course, we share the latest in social media technology with you. This has been a product I've been really, really, really excited to take and cover. I think if you're a photographer and you use your cell phone, especially your iPhones or your uh, Android phones as a camera work and you love to take great photography, you upload to Instagram, all that good stuff, this is a must-have product for you because it can really enhance your shots, give you motion, and also give you stability. Now, it's brought to you by the great company iStabilizer.com. You can go to iStabilizer.com and see a multitude of their wonderful products. We're also going to be reviewing something that's super, super cool, their Glide Pro, which is uh, works much like you would a uh, motion stabilizer in the TV industry, if you've seen them with the TV cameras, uh, where they can hold it on their arm and glide around. So watch for that post too on the ChrisVossShow.com. This is the eye stabilizer dolly. And as you can see here, we've got some wheels. The wheels are turnable and adjustable, and it will hold your iPhone. It will hold various smartphones, all smartphones and cases up to 2.75 inches wide. So it includes a mount and tripod adapter so that you can take and do that and mount it to a tripod. So this is really, really cool. Now, we try and make our videos as exciting as possible on the Chris Voss Show. We've got a few different things, toys to do that. And this is going to add to our arsenal of really cool toys. And of course... The beautiful part is, is you can get stabilization while you're uh, recording. Uh, one of the problems you have with motion uh, recording and camera work is that you tend to lose stability. You get that shaky screen, and that shaky screen can be annoying to readers. It can lose the shot. It just looks it looks cheap and awful. So. What you can do with this is basically uh, with the eye stabilizer dolly, the arm will adjust to shoot at any angle. It holds your point and shoot uh, camera phone. Uh, you can work for this with your camera too, which is great. Works with case or bumper. Uh, smooth, sturdy dolly for pro style video panning. So it works really, really well. Gives you the great shots that you're looking for and everything else. Uh, looks like you can even use a GoPro camera tripod mount with this. It's sold separately by GoPro, but you can even use that with your GoPro. So let's open this baby up and take a look at it. Okay, let's open this baby up. I've been really, really excited to get these products from my stabilizer. If you can, get a chance to go to their website. They have a ton of stabilizer type products. They uh, really specialize in this field and industry. Now, uh, let's take a look. Looks like we've got uh, one of the arms. It kind of has like a graphite look to it. I'm not sure what its build is, but a uh, really cool looking arm. And you can see this adjusts in uh, four different places. You probably call it five because this may adjust up here. So we've got a number of different places. This will take an adjust and it's really hard so you know it's going to hold together. And let's see if we can curve that last part there. Maybe we can't get that. Well, yeah, it should. It's a ball joint. So anyway, we'll get more into this as we go. So uh, here is the holder and this is an adjustable holder that you can see here for whatever type of phone that you have. It's spring loaded so it will adjust out and and spring back to hold whichever phone you're going to take and utilize this with. You can see it's got a tripod mount uh, there, and of course it will likely mount to this thing. <clears throat> so that's really cool. It's got a little dongle on it, if you will, to take and pull it and make it easy for you to put in that your, your cell phone. Let's go ahead and pull this puppy out. Wow, this thing is good looking. Okay, so what we've done is we pulled the eye stabilizer dolly out of the box. And what you can see here <clears throat> is we've got it set up now. Uh, basically this is made where you can easily unscrew these bolts here you can turn the wheels any different direction you want and what's nice is they've taken and made it so that there is like a arrow here that you can see underneath the head if you can see that right there and they're on both sides and the arrow will point to where the angle of uh, turning is that you want. So this helps you get really scientific down to brass tacks on getting the right angle that you want. There's three different mounts here. You can see screw one, screw two, and the screw, the third screw is right here that we've screwed this arm extension onto. So you've got those and they're securely mounted on the bottom. You've got extra screws here, of course, on the bottom to do this. Now, one of the things we want to talk about is the rollers. The rollers are designed to have really good ball bearing systems in them because what you don't want is you don't want, as this device rolls, to make a noise because it will look bad in your video and bring up noise if you're recording live audio. So these are designed to be very quiet. And as you can see, you can't even hear them. They're rubberized. Uh, 
the rubberized wheels so they'll be able to move around without making too much noise, clankety clanky, you don't want that in your video. So really cool on how they built the product. You can see it here from a different few different angles. And it's built with really uh, good built steel from as far as I can tell, it's really hard. It's not cheap aluminum or anything as far as I can tell. It seems like it's really well built. It's not too heavy, but it definitely does hold the weight of quality product. So we've got the arm extension that comes up here. It adjusts several different ways all the way from the base coming up to here. And then you can screw in the uh, adapter here. And with this, you can have the holder. Now we've put a Samsung Galaxy uh, S3 in here. And so you can see that there. And you can, uh, we want to use the Galaxy because the Galaxy is a very wide phone. And you can, it's probably one of the widest phones that we've seen so far, you know, other than the Galaxy Note, uh, with, um, uh, with phones. So we use this because this is the widest Android phone we could find in our arsenal. So this will even fit the Samsung Galaxy S3, which is really cool because it is a very popular phone at this point in time. And of course, it will fit the iPhone and other different measures. Won't fit your iPad though. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go ahead and play with this for a while and see what we think. But uh, we're pretty impressed, pretty awesome on the build in this. And of course, these guys really specialize in making uh, quality stabilizer products. You definitely want to check them out on their website. So we're going to play with this for a couple of days. Come back and tell you what we think. Watch for it in our future videos. Okay, so now we're going to do a roll by on a product, and this is only going to be as good as my table is flat. This is one reason you may want to buy tracks for these, but let's go ahead and use this on our uh, wood table here and see how this comes across. We're just going to do a roll by of a product, and you can see how smooth and easy that is. There's no sound from the wheels or ball bearings. It gives a nice professional looking shot to us. Okay, so now we've changed the wheels up. We're going to do a roll around the product here. We're going to go from the side over to the front and then back over to the side again so you can see how that runs. Pretty cool. Let's show you one more example of a pull-out shot where we can use this to back out of a shot and give you the full view, of course, when we're fully pulled out. So some cool things you can really do that way with the dolly and uh, really love it so far. Okay, folks, so what you can see here is we've uh, pulled off the adapter that's for the smartphone cameras and stuff that you can slide this baby into and this just gives a quick pull like that. And what we've done is we've screwed in a third-party case that you can use for your iPhone. This is actually made by DiffCase at DiffCase.com, D-I-F-F-Case.com. And it gives you a sunshade sunscreen. But I use this actually a lot in my shooting because on the back it gives me a chance to put in different lenses that I really like to do. You can see some of our views of the DiffCase on the ChrisFosch.com. But mainly what I want to point out is if you have a third-party case that has a tripod mount, and I have a number of them uh, that have tripod mounts. Uh, you can take and utilize them with your eye stabilizer dolly. Now, what you also can do, of course, is screw any other device on here that will fit this head. Most of your tripod mounted cameras, SLRs, all that sort of good stuff. The only downside that I have with the eye stabilizer that I would have liked to have seen and it is a, a twice as long length or an additional length that I could probably buy. There may be a way I can order this uh, extra mount and then just screw it on top of here and keep going. But I would like a longer mount and more reach to be able to do more fun stuff with it. There's probably a way I can do that if I order it from the site. So, I uh, love the product. Thumbs up, two thumbs up. Chris Voss tested, Chris Voss approved. Uh, go to iStabilizer.com, that's iStabilizer.com. Order yourself up the dolly, get it, and have some fun with your photography. The other thing you should check out, we just reviewed also the iStabilizer Glide Pro and the iStabilizer Glide Pro is also awesome for photography. Be sure to search for that on the Chris Voss Show and also check out our upcoming videos and everything else we'll be doing. Thanks for coming by the ChrisVossShow.com. Be sure to check back daily.